Let's do an overview of the different models available in uh, Diffusé um, as of now. So the first one is Table Division 1.5 and if I select my prompt, I'll use this image to show you the difference between them. Uh, I will increase this to 1024 since I think that's a good uh, average quality that I want. And I can also increase the iterations uh, just a little bit to get, um, maybe that's too high. Around 25 is usually good. Stable Diffusion 1.5 was uh, one of the first Stable Diffusion models, and then came Stable Diffusion 2.1. Um, there's differences between the two in terms of quality. Generally, the Stable Diffusion 2.1 will give a better quality. Um, the model is loading right now, so we're just gonna wait that uh, 2.1 loads uh, so we can compare the two. If I switch back to 1.5, you'll see the difference in a minute. So most of the time, Stable Diffusion 2.1 will give smoother results, uh, a, an impression of better quality, but the reason we still include 1.5 is I found that in some cases, um, like old painting, style transfer, uh, or something very abstract, um, for me, um, anyways, Stable Diffusion 1.5 gave me results that I found more interesting uh, to the eye than 2.1. So it really depends on what you're doing. Uh, you can uh, switch between the two to see which one suits uh, best the style you're going to. Stable Diffusion 2 Depth uh, will take depth information in the model. So it will uh, bring you a little bit more frame consistency if you're working on a video, uh, but also if you have a character at the same place uh, in the image, it's, it's going to be better at uh, applying changes to this character only. The Instruct Pix to Pix works a little bit differently, where you'll see that when you switch from one of the models, uh, you have Prompt Guidance and Prompt Strength, and if you select pix to pix um, the params are going to change a little bit uh, and that's because the model works differently if i select my prompt which uh, for this example i make him wear a cowboy hat so it's really you need to instruct uh, what you want the model to do and not describe uh, the image that you want so i'm going to select make him wear a cowboy hat and you see that it keeps the general um, area where the character was, but he's turned the scene into a cowboy scene. Um, the image guidance uh, can be increased if we want more fidelity to the original image. So in that, in that case, I'm going to put it towards uh, the maximum of two. This way I have my same, kind of the same guy, but with a cowboy hat now. Um, that's that's how it works. Again, uh, resolution was a little bit small here, so I will bump that. So you can play with the settings and uh, change the seed the same as with the other models, but you really need to instruct it uh, what to do. Another uh, example that shows what it can do is to change a scene into something else. So if I type make it a winter scene, It's gonna know it's not work. It doesn't need to work on the guy only and work on the overall image now. Yeah. So you see that the less uh, image guidance, we are starting to see snow appear because it is trying to turn it into a winter scene before and after. The Instruct pix to pix model is a lot more stable than uh, the other ones. So that's also something to consider when you are using pix to pix um, If you can achieve your style with this model, you will probably have better frame consistency. 